revenge is made possible by listeners like you. By listeners like you, our revenge is made possible. By listeners like you. By listeners like you, our revenge is made possible. By listeners like you. like you by listeners like you our revenge is made possible good morning or good evening uh or good afternoon depending on where where you're watching this from right now there's only 34 people here but i've i've stayed up just in case you know just in i'm just one of those just in case people i guess you know never leave a stone unturned i'm curious to see how much they burn and i always like to be the first person who gets on this kind of uh information so to speak now tomorrow we're going to be doing a, a whole day going through the terror rebels roadmap we're going to be discussing the coin itself and how they're getting around this whole idea of ustc and you know i've been doing some deep reading some really deep reading and i like it i like it with with the issues that i have in hand you know like i always say there's good there's bad there's the ugly the pretty and not everything's paved with uh roses in crypto sadly but you know i i i just this movement's strong okay we can if we, if we can trend things on twitter um we can do quite a lot you know why do we need elon musk when we can trend things ourselves so folks really welcome to the stream if you've got any questions feel free to put them forward because all we're doing right now is staring at a blank white screen so i'm going to give it a quick refresh and um, my theory is i don't think it's going to be a human that sends this burn i think it's likely going to be automated now we don't know if it means you know midnight utc uh today or tomorrow but it's kind of it was both ways so i am currently in a twitter space as well by the way so if you're um wondering why i'm not responding in there it's because i'm live here and uh this is my dedication to you folks so i really appreciate the people who are here slap down some penguins if you've got the special members emoji throw up your penguin arms and uh yeah let's talk about a few more things so what i want to talk to you guys about right now is my nft project that we're working on and the fact that you know, for those lucky people that do mint and get hold of them, you're going to be getting good staking rewards. And I'm hoping to do it on the rarity 
um, and you'll get like the maximum percent if you've got, you know, a legendary, so to speak. It's not going to be like huge differences between them, but it'll put you a little bit above and it'll put, you know, a level of competition into actually, you know, a reason for having a legendary other than having a legendary. But the fact that we provide a utility for these NFTs as well as them being really awesome NFTs, um, you know, it's going to bring the community together. And like I said, for those lucky 500 people that mint them, you're going to be never wanting to sell your NFT because you're going to be getting good staking rewards from a treasury that's funded by our node. So therefore, we'll be able to provide these staking rewards sustainably and forever. And then it allows us to branch out into even more stuff. Wayne, Eli, thank you so much for the donation. I don't think there's been one YouTube live stream where you have not, um, you know, made a donation so thank you so much it's martini time anytime hcc uh, does a live stream i'm so excited to get through my back injury the rest of it and get to a point where i can have a glass of whiskey uh, again with a really nice cold ball of uh, ice in there and i don't know if you you know know like for whiskey drinkers it's all about you know how your ice is presented in my opinion but anyway less whiskey talk jake we can save that for celebrating after all of my um physiotherapy and massage therapies and stuff like that uh how much is the minting going to cost i need one uh, i'll be giving out all of the details once pretty much i get to a stage with the developers of where it's nearly done i'll make it obviously a white paper because i'll need to pre present the whole project forward to uh hippie so it can be vetted by him and we will have the uh vetted tick next to our project but the lunar punks uh platform itself from what i've just been told in a twitter space is that it's going to be going for a huge reworking making it look prettier making it work better and integrating things a lot better because they're going to be running a full node which is pretty much a validator without being a validator but at that point you may as well just be a validator right and intertwine that with your um nft project it makes 100 percent sense and it means we get you know another trusted community validator someone who built a launch pad and an nft project to allow others to you know jump on board and this is what we like this is what we want is people that are leaving a trail behind them and inspiring others and incentivizing others you know to really get going with the utility and stuff like that so if you hear any weird noises it's because the cat's absolutely going spastic because she just had um i don't know how she gets the bags of treats does anybody else's cat have the ability to open a bag of treats because mine does she just rips them open uh i'll be redelegating a proportion to your notes since i've been listening to you from the start and that's beautiful honestly i really appreciate anyone that redelegates with us honestly you'll be taken care of to the best extent that we can provide for you our commission rate is going to be between three percent and six percent and that is to keep within a fair commission range throughout the you know lifespan of the node and everything like that and getting up to a uh, decent level and let me tell you it's not easy i'm seeing obviously people who have skipped the queue uh to get a node and i really would think some of these people with you know the communities they've got behind them would have got up there but what we're also seeing is like not enough people te teaching people how to stake how to incentivize and stuff like that so we've literally got one minute i think it probably could be less than that like i said folks it might happen it might not happen we don't know if it's tonight at midnight or tomorrow at midnight um utc obviously for me that's 1 a.m if you're in germany that's 2 a.m and i don't really know past that because i haven't got any more clocks than that up right now so i'm gonna give this a refresh i'm gonna scroll down doesn't look like anything yet but guys let me know your estimates in the comment section let me know what you think um is gonna be the range of what's gonna be burnt i've honestly got um so many people that you know thrown out some really huge uh answers a uh, big question please all nodes are supposed to change to five percent commission and burn it until the end of the year change is supposed to happen october 1st but hasn't happened yet anyone know what's happening i don't but i'll look into that i didn't actually check to see if they had changed it um so yeah i'll uh i'll get an answer on that i've got a direct line to um all nodes so it's pretty easy to get a message through them if you wanted to ask them yourself i'm pretty sure they'd respond uh, 50 billion to 250 billion. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people around that 250 billion mark. Mine's around 16 billion to 28. I reckon around that, between that that zone. So 
um yeah very interesting and if you've been kicked from the chat group it's likely because you've done something to upset the rose bot um unless i directly banned you in which case you must have definitely done something wrong um but in that case you know if you are the people don't get permanent ban you get a three-day timer and it will let you join again so you know sit there and um i can always check when you join back to see why rose banned you and it's likely because you might have done like a repeated um you know bunch of messages basically if you send 10 messages at once after the other it's going to see it as spamming and just remove you because it's easier for us to administrate with bots than it is to obviously have a human there 24 hours a day to uh, sort it out. But Matt, there you go. There's your answer to that. Uh, we never duck and dive questions here. We answer them all. I'm currently delegating with other validators, but I want to switch to you. Will it be a 21 days wait? Um, so when you have delegated to that validator, if it was a redelegation, you would need to wait 21 days until you can redelegate again. But if you're not in that cooldown period and you want to redelegate from that node to my node, uh, it'll be instant and then you'll have a cooldown period again so you won't be able to move for 21 days after you've moved to our node so as long as you're out of that 21 day cooling period you're pretty safe let's give it a refresh did it happen didn't happen uh it doesn't look like it and we don't know i'm going to keep this going for a, you know another 30 minutes or something and yeah and i mean the admins don't you know, Yana is an admin in our Telegram group and we just don't really rarely ban people unless, you know, you're being just absurd. Um, and, you know, we get trolls. Uh, people like to intentionally troll or trigger people. Trigger people? Uh, trigger people. So, yeah. Um, 10 to 15 billion depends on how much volume at lower fee rate. And remember, folks, it's a buyback and burn. This is the even better part about it. So, you know, it might even be conducted by a human. Who knows? It's very interesting. And it'd be interesting to see if the drop goes out of the hot wallet. So it'd be very interesting to see if, you know, if it was 250 billion or something like that, that would be insane and make obviously a dent in this. You would definitely notice. We're going to notice it either way because I can backtrace where the, obviously the transaction came from. God, Jesus, 21st century or what? Um, yeah, very interesting. Oh, people are going to look back in the 23rd century at us like, car. look at these apes. What are they playing at? Oh, they didn't even know how to use crypto properly. Gah. Um, I was watching the Joe Rogan uh, experience uh, last night because, you know, I love the Joe Rogan show. I like to, I like the episodes with the more intellectual people rather than, you know, the like more kooky people. But he doesn't really understand NFTs. And I applied, as silly as it sounds, I applied uh, to go on there and explain to him exactly what NFTs are, what Luna Classic is and the community behind it. So hopefully you never know, I might get invited to Las Vegas. <laughs> Who knows, right? You got, you know, if you don't try, how would you know? So yeah, but the fact that uh, someone like him doesn't actually understand what an NFT is and what it can be, what it can do, the utilities that could be intertwined into it just goes to show how much educational uh, need there is to get it out to people. So I'm drinking a cup of tea, by the way. And it's just normal British standard tea. Not any kind of fancy tea bags. I kind of spilled it all down my jumper. But that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully you take the cats. Oh, certainly. I uh, would not be going anywhere about them. Thank you very much, Navigator Internet. Another person who has pretty much donated in every stream. I really appreciate your uh, your donation, um, folks. Really appreciate it. So, like I said, um, I wouldn't be asleep at this time i had to be here just in case it did happen so to speak so but the more i think about it the more it could be played out by a human because of the buyback and burn side of things so you never know it might happen tomorrow at midnight we just we don't know the the text in itself that was given for it is um contradictory so it doesn't really say if it was tonight at midnight or tomorrow at midnight you just you just don't know so any price range on the penguin nfts jazz i'll need to get the funds for it um likely uh the worst case there's going to be lots of giveaways by the way folks we'll be doing lots of giveaways to help spread uh the word but let me get you off this wide screen because it's absolutely horrible for you folks to look at um let's go to link penguins the tickers better um 
we're probably looking at maximum worst case scenario you know a 35 pound um, mint, mint cost but it will be in lunar classic and we're launching on the lunar punks uh, launch pad to help that project as well as helping our own project and helping the community whilst providing sustenance and a utility use case for the community and this is what i'm all about and this is why you know i push so hard towards it because if we're doing so much you know there's other people out there that would definitely love to be part you know of the lunar classic environment and would love to seek fame and glory and if they want to do that the best way to do it is by building on the blockchain and really taking a patch for yourself so to speak and showing the community what you can do not just talking about it and you know projects take time and that's why it's even more of a uh, importance for us to push for a drive uh for it now because it just it takes time it takes time as you can see here we have added the burn a lot initiatives um to the lunk penguins website it's 46 million and there was a huge kind of argument uh that went up with i think bull bnb who's got i think nearly 400k followers on twitter so if he tweets something people are probably going to react to it and his argument was you know why should the little people basically burn a load of lunk for the bigger whales to profit who are likely not definitely going to burn even ten dollars of their own coins um so it's kind of one of those ones i always sit in the middle you know i think it was a great idea and it really brings the community close together and i don't think there was any bad intention behind it but i do feel like it opened up the door to so many more scams like it did when uh du Quan tweeted out the burn address itself it just gives scammers an opportunity to come up with some kind of elaborate ruse um as to why you know they're going to scam someone so folks if you're in here and you're really really supporting do consider tapping the like it does help the algorithm and it does help people find this live stream so i was kind of hoping you know that the burn was going to go through uh tonight but you know we can't have it all can we we can't time the market and we can't just expect things to happen when we want but oh my god geez. some of the things people put in the uh, burn memos it's just weird like why would you do that and why would you spend money to do it but you know why do we care if you want to waste well not waste if you want to burn lunk by putting memos in go for it uh, it's totally up to you but yeah we have got that on the burn ticker folks i forgot to put it in the video for the morning but you know there's 200 and something people in this live stream so yeah we do care about the community folks that's why we built this website there's a lot of people go around saying you know oh, HCC, you know, chip on his shoulder. But ultimately, I've been here for the community from the beginning. And if I think there's something wrong, I'm not going to lie about it. It's as simple as that. I'm always going to be honest, even if it's going to, you know, have a negative impact on you know, who I am. It's just, I just can't lie. It's not in my nature. In fact, I can't hold stuff in it. That's why I have to talk about it. I'm one of those people. So, folks really really appreciate you guys showing up i'm gonna run this for like another 10 minutes um just to ensure you know we don't miss it and i'm gonna head back to that twitter space if you want to just go to my profile on twitter and you uh you'll be able to see that there's a speaker icon you can click it and you can join you can see i'm in here as a speaker if you've got questions you can raise your hand in there and you can actually speak to me for a microphone crazy right i know i just wish they put it on the desktop currently i've got my phone in the drawer so you can't hear the noise so <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, it's there. So. And it's not a bad space. They talk about good stuff. They talk about NFT projects. And it's really good that people do these spaces. I really should do a space, but I just don't. It's all done on the mobile. So it's really awkward for me. I can't connect this microphone to my phone without, you know, crazy adaption kits and things like that. So let me go back to the actual official Burn Dead uh, wallet feeder and it doesn't look like anything's gone through but there's always burns going through like always and we burn way more than shib burns our volume um was higher than bitcoins on kucoin i think yesterday and higher than ethereum on i think binance but you know that's really good to see that and from what i can make out from my really deep look into like this roadmap speaking to people getting answers to um, my questions because i don't know every excuse me i don't know everything a lot of people you know will be like you know yeah he knows a lot he knows everything but i have to ask people to learn things and that's what this is all about and you know you can't know everything about something there's always something new to learn um so yeah very 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 interesting to see all of that 
So, um, like I said, folks, if you want to head over to that Twitter space, catch me in there, ask me some questions, um, just raise your hand and they will bring you up as speaker. I'll probably be in there for like another hour or so um, once this uh, ends. But yeah, very interesting. And this NFT project should release before the year's out, by the way, folks, our NFT projects. No names given yet, no ideas you've given yet until we've solidified the design and um, I own it pretty much. I have to uh, go through the trademark in... Uh, process here in the UK to ensure we do own the full rights to the uh, project itself it's very important but folks sorry it didn't happen tonight by the looks of things really sad to see that but you know it just means it's coming either during the day today or tomorrow so you know folks stay safe out there okay I'm not a financial advisor do remember that none of this is financial advice I'm just a dude in his room with his cat and uh s- Surprise coming this week. I'm not saying anything, but I've got a surprise coming for you this week. Keep an eye out for it and it will uh, it will creep, creep up on you. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. And beware of scammers, okay? I'm not going to DM you. Uh, you can jump in my Telegram group at me there. I am reachable. I'm not one of these crazy influencers that sees himself as these one, you know, famous people that shouldn't be contacted by peasants. Uh, but stay safe, you know? You're my friends you know i've got much love for you i consider you family and a direct threat to you is a direct threat to all of us stay safe okay beware of scams they happen okay double check everything cross reference it ring you know contact me if you need to on telegram if you're unsure about something and we'll catch you in the next one sure